Let's look at using Firewall D on Ubuntu Linux machines. So first of all, I have a Linux client machine and it does not have anything, well, it doesn't have a Firewall D installed on it. So the first thing I do is to install Firewall D. So app install Firewall D. Put in my password and then it goes ahead and it installs the firewall. Now this goes ahead and puts different packages in different places and you can see where it puts things. You can see that there are symbolic links created so it's automatically starting on boot time and there is this firewall D service and so now I can go look at that service if I wanted to. Um, it's enabled and it's running and I can go ahead and start the firewall or start looking at rules. So if I type firewall, actually sudo, firewall cmd list all, like that. So it was dash dash list dash all, without the spaces between the list and all. I can get a list of what is currently allowed to the firewall. So by default, you can see that it is allowing my DHCP client to communicate and also my SSH service that I have running. If I wanted to get other services added to the firewall, I can do that as well. So I can do firewall, or sudo firewall dash cmd, and I do listlet or dash dash get services. And that will list a whole lot of services that I could start up. Now, if you know you have a particular service, maybe you want to start a web server, so you could do some kind of a grep HTTP, and you can see there are different things that have HTTP in them, so maybe you want to have this HTTP, maybe you want HTTP3 or HTTPS, and I could decide which ones I want to start up in order to get things going. If I wanted to add a service, I do sudo firewall cmd, dash add service and I can do equals or just space and do so I want to do HTTP you can see I can do that or I can do equals HTTPS and it adds the service now this service is only there until the firewall restarts so if I go and li list the services right now with this list all command you can see that I have HTTP and HTTPS both added as services to the firewall which allows them to get through the firewall if i were to restart the firewall so system ctl restart firewall d well it doesn't really want me to do this because i should restart this daemon first so there you go Let's see. So, all right. Reload the demons. And then if I reach out the firewall, then I can see that the firewall rules have changed. So I list all. And the reason it did this thing right here is because I've actually changed which services are available since booting my system. So that's just what it does. You can see that now HTTP and HTTPS are gone. If I wanted them to be there permanently, uh, one thing you can do is just add the service and do dash dash permanent. And that, if I list all the firewall rules, doesn't actually list it. You can see it's not there. And so you might say, well, why is it not there? The reason it's not there is because instead of putting it into my active firewall, it put it into the file. So the dash as permanent puts it in the file. And if I reload the service, it will get loaded. Or I could just do it again without the dash dash permanent. Same thing with the HTTPS or HTTP. I can add it and also permanent to get it listed in both places. I can also, uh, in addition to listing all of the file rules, I can list all of them that are in the files. So, per man, 
and this will show me what is there for the permanent if I restart it. In addition to doing things like this, I can also add ports. Um, you can see that there are a list of ports right here. You can see there's no specific ports. It is best, if you can, to always use these words because it makes a lot more sense than uh, just some random port number. So I would recommend against adding a specific port. However, if you needed to add a specific port, you can do that. To add that, so I'll do sudo firewall cmd add port, and then you do the port number and then the protocol, so TCP. So that right there would add my port 80. Now, if I go list all of them again, I can see that it is listed right there as port 80, TCP port 80. And if I look at the permanent list, you can see it's not there. So if I restart it, it would be gone. So this is the idea of how you can add ports and services. And then if you want to remove them, you can do that as well. So, so say I wanted to remove that port I just added. So instead of doing the add port 80, I can do remove port 80 slash TCP and it is gone. So if I look at my firewall list it is now gone. I can also remove services as well. So if I want to remove the HTTPS, I can do HTTPS and I can remove HTTP. Now, once again, you have to remove them from the files. Otherwise it's just gone. So right now you don't see them here. And if I look at the permanent list, you can see that they are there. So if I restarted the firewall, they'd be back in place. So just be aware of that. Um, and this is a quick little introduction to the firewall, firewall D.